welcome back everyone today we have another video but this time with a leader that has impressed me this time uh sanji uh this is the way to play sanji i think uh i wasn't i mean i i understood something about the leader while playing it with this with this version and i understand the power of the leader now the power of the leader is that you can rebuild your board way quicker way quickly than they can act actually destroy it and you can attack them so you get you get to outvalue them by the fact that you can rebuild your board every turn so what i mean by by that is that early game you get to play two three cards per turn and then you attack with them and they have to attack them and then uh you use them as blocker and then the following turn after that you get to play another three four cards and then you keep doing that rinse and repeat until you run the opponent out of resources and it actually works very well and i think that's what that's the strain of this leader specifically you get to play a bunch of cards quickly into the board and then the opponent has to deal with all of them and that's what gives you the advantage with this leader and how do we accomplish all of that and as you're gonna see you get to play three four cards per turn like it's just insane what you can do with this leader um so at least at the beginning you get to play two cards like consistently and then later you get to play like three three cards or four like you get to do a lot of stuff with this leader and then and keep up a lot of energy to just do like your stuff it's just really good so the main cards or the deck i think are gonna be brook luffy and the vanillas basically those are the i mean of course nami nami is gonna be your engine you, if you draw it you're you're super good you're ahead uh, but the Vanillas are what gives you the ability to just play a bunch of cards per turn. And, and we play a couple of them in the deck. Uh, we're playing 12, 18. So we do see uh, a lot of them consistently. It's not going to be an issue. And then um, we have Chopper as our 2k Connor. Is the only 2k Connor in the deck besides uh, Waterfall. But Waterfall is an it's another 2k basically. But this one has, even though you have to keep one energy up for it, it's a lot of value in this deck like once with luffy really good second with boa excellent in incredibly good and third with uh just with any character if they uh, are uh, thinking of attacking it with a bunch of cards like a couple of uh, like a couple attacks you get to just restand it and save it that way and it's really good usually you, they actually you have a life high total with this leader because they're uh, trying to attack your board so much that you're a three two life consistently so you're not even scared of dying and that's really good you also like these two are blockers and you have a lot of defense like three cards that are blockers and that's a lot of defense like in inconsequentially also you have a lot of uh 4k counters and a, and a 6k counter here in the, in the case of this one i'm playing this one because it combos well with the leader as you can play uh jinbei and usopp for free it's not a, a combo that, that you have to look over because like at some point you're like trying to defend but also you can play something to um not only untap energy so you get to play this for one but also because this the, this little effect is in both players turn so you get to play something for free but you also add an attacker that can potentially win the win the game next turn so that's this is a nice combo i don't want to max out on that one because keeping three energy up is kind of a lot so it you 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 I, I think two is the right number and you get to search it out of nami which is fantastic uh two gibson i feel like this is the right split you want to draw cards instead of i mean this card if i could play more i would play more but i think you you cannot overdo it on the corners uh department i think this is the right amount of corners that you want for this deck uh again paradise has been amazing and i think you have to keep it at four uh this this deck works very well with this card uh, Luffy, Luffy has some nasty combos when you get to play Luffy into Brook into something, uh, some other three drop. And if you have zero cards in board, you get to play Luffy into Brook into Usopp and on top two energy for your Gibson or your Love Love Beam. That is, that is a nasty combo right there, if I ever seen one. And you get to keep one of these four cards like up. It's just incredible. And yeah, I, 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 I'm telling you, this is the, the strain of this deck. It's just being able to play a lot of cards per turn and it's been working very well for me and i think this is the actual like th this is the way they intended to for the deck to play like these cars are vanillas and all of them are straws and i think this is just the way they intended for the deck to work 
and I hadn't realized until now until I played it and I think it's really strong. I, I don't know. I need more testing, of course. Uh, I don't know what the bad matchups are exactly. I only played like four games that I didn't... Um, I mean, I won all of them, but uh, I didn't... I don't know if my opponents were not used to the leader. I wasn't playing correctly. I don't, I'm not sure entirely. Um, but it was a good showing for, for me today. And I, I really wanted to chat, uh, to share with you guys. Um, with that being said, let's see some gameplay. Uh, Okay, and we're gonna play against Ivankov. Going first or going second? Mm, I mean, I have good cards. So it's probably just fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Because either going first, I get to play this one, and going second, I get to play this one. And I get to just play this one and going second. I wish I have something else, however. Because I feel kind of slow. Kind of want to have the um, Jinbei here. Okay, that doesn't work, but I can at least play Brook plus Usopp, and that's better than just playing the Zoro against this leader, at least. And then Frankie into attacking, so I'm gonna take this attack. Okay, that's a good draw with my Paradise. He has Peronas. Peronas are very good. And I'm going to attack for 7 at his leader. Because uh, the, the more I force him to take the life, the better. For me. Or unless he wants to discard the whole hand, in which case I am okay with that too. Uh, interesting card to play there. I don't have anything that I want to do with my energy next turn with this card, so I'm just going to let him attack with this if he wants to do that. I can just combo a couple of cards and uh, next turn I get to play uh, Zoro into maybe Boa. Seems really good. Although he does get into 7 energy, so he gets bounced to bounce back my Boa. Not the best utilization. 3 or less, okay, so he gets to bounce that one, but I can play that one for free next turn. Uh, no blocker, but a combo Frankie because I have too many. And he's using the Baronas as blockers. Which is annoying. But I think I have to let them be. I cannot focus myself on uh, them. I think I have to play this plus this, and then I'll just combo five. No trigger, it's fine. Okay, now I kind of like this actually. I'm definitely attacking the leader because his next play is gonna be the seven drop. So I don't wanna like this don't matter to me. Um this however I should do Brook into Boa, right? Brook on top two Boa, yeah, yes, that's fine. Play this one and then play Boa. And then if he wants to play the 7, he doesn't get to KO my my Brook, and I get to pressure him back. And I have Love Love plus Waterfall for uh, next turn. If he doesn't have the 6 drop Luffy, in which case I'm going to be just fine. Okay, he doesn't have the 6 drop, so I'm going to be fine. Uh, here, I will combo out of that one with, I think, Frankie, because I have a full board. And I do have to outpace him here. Who 
Oh, that's a perfect draw, actually. Like it. Let's get the this guy going. I need three energy, so everything else is with five. Okay, it's kind of annoying. Okay, and my turn. I have Waterfall, so I can restand and block with Boa. And I have uh, enough attackers. I have to just defend this board so I can attack him next turn. He doesn't have blockers. If he wants to spend all his energy on this, I have no issue with that. Uh, no blockers, but I'll use Waterfall on a 1k. And now I have a blocker that draws me a car. That's the reason we play this combo in the in the deck. And that's the disadvantage of this leader. They don't have much like hand size. And then they just get outpaced by this. This deck seems really good actually. Very, very good actually. And you see they use the uh, blockers as removal, but I mean I was I mean I guess Alvida I should have got rid of rid of uh, Alvida. That's fine. I can still get value out of her. Uh, seven. Uh, no block. I mean, I guess I can block. It's free. Uh, now use my Zoro here. And I have my Love Low Beam here. Yep. No block. And I'll do the chopper. And he has a seven, so he's gonna do both again. Does he have the Luffy? The, the Luffy? So you see, attacking the Perona was uh, would have been a mistake. Attacking the Alvira maybe wasn't a mistake. I should have have attacked the Alvira. Uh, as she's able to bounce back my threes into my hand. Okay, Luffy is good. But now he doesn't, like, I can still go for game here. He doesn't get to restand this one, unless he does the ability on, at the end of the turn. Okay. So, what do I do? Interesting. Well, I think I just keep up uh, attack for sevens on everything. And then attack for nine and attack for nine. It should be enough. We outpaced the, uh, the Ivankov deck. Incredible. I mean, that gets shown up. All right, and we're playing against um, Smoker. So we're going second. I mean, Boa is nice, but he dies to all his removal. It's kind of not really worth it. So I'm going to Mulligan. Ooh, that's an Ami. That's much better. Although she still dies to pretty much all the removal, but at least she replaced itself. And we're going to be able to play Brook too. I wonder... How do we do it? And we have the boa combo. I can make some plays next turn. For sure. Uh, we don't have anything for the first turn though, however. And then we can play Zoro into this two maybe. That's pretty good. I think I... Do I want to just tap this guy? Try to attack it. Yeah, yeah, why not? Punish him for uh, playing into my cards. He should have attacked first. Now, next turn. 
We can do Zoro into Brook Nami. Ooh, that is really good. That can outpace his removal for sure. And then at the end of all of that, we're going to have Boa plus Waterfall, I think. Sounds really good. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to make it happen. All right. So now we go Zoro into... Well, now let's not do Brook Nami because I want to draw a card. So let's do just Brook. Let's get the... Let's get the uh, Luffy because he can play another card. And he's a blocker. And let's be very aggressive here. He didn't attack me last turn. Kind of weird. But now he has to remove my Nami and my uh, Zoros are really good. And at 7 energy... Oh, he didn't do the play that I think he was going to do. So I feel really good right now. I will play my Boa next turn. Oh, he's ignoring my leader. Not sounds like a good idea. Especially since I am kind of dominating right now. Uh, I'm going to need the energy here. Oh, let's get the Usopp. Ooh, Nami's so good in this leader. Nami's just good in any leader. Uh, yeah, we had a we gotta play it around the um, the uh, what you might call it. Let's attack for eight now. Force him to uh, use the um, the palm. Uh, we might not play the Lu the the bon maybe. We still gotta get rid of him. Oh, we're getting rid of him. That is happening. <laughs> we still have a huge hand, so not really something that I want to worry about. Nami already got replaced and got another card, so we're chilling on that end. Uh, I think he's going to go after the Zoros. Ooh. But if he does, yeah, sure, they die. And then now, next turn, I get to play Luffy plus Frankie plus maybe Usopp. Some crazy stuff like that. Because <laughs> that's what you can do with this leader. And my opponent, sure, may have some, the next turn may have a Kusan. But even if they do. Okay, uh, he goes after the Nami. Which I'm fine with. Uh, but as I was saying, I can just replace my whole board super quickly. Uh, let's just do seven here. I don't want to spend many attacks here. And then let's keep up the blob lobby, maybe. Oh, no, I don't think I can. Let's do... Yeah, I can. I can keep up the love love. But no, let's, let's, let's keep going after his leader. Like, because he's priced into playing the Kusan. Uh, let's play the Brook. And let's play the... That's <laughs> three cards in one turn. How about that? And then let's keep doing the pressure. Yes, yes. Now he's gonna play a Kusan, but Kusan only KOs my Zoro. I'm gonna have a turn when I, all of this is gonna attack him and put him, put him to zero. Uh, should I take this? No, oh wait, no, I have a free blocker. What, what am I talking about? Forgot that this guy had a, a, was a blocker. Okay, and then now we'll attack for fives because if he wants to discard his hand, uh, he's not gonna be able to use Kobe exactly. 
That's why I wanted to do that. And I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna overwhelm him with, with cars on board. That plays around the palm too. And then we'll play Robin plus this guy plus let's give an energy to to Boa Hancock and I have still five characters on board every turn and now I can keep up my love love beam I still have some defense here I'm still at four life I mean you see the power of this guy in this leader as long as I can see her I'm gonna have a good game and I do get to play a bunch of cards every turn so, impressive. He did KO my uh, Boa. But it's too many cards that he has to KO. Like, it's just not going to be easy. And I can replace them every turn if I want to. And at least by battle, they're not going to die. So, I mean, maybe the, whatever he attacks with this is going to die. <laughs> but I have a Paradise, and I can use it as a defensive tool here, too. Oh, that one dies. Yeah, that one is fine. Because I cannot play around the Palm next turn if I have two Usopp's. So might as well let that one die. There is no reason to stop that one. This one, however, I will combo out. Because this one doesn't die to the palm. So no blockers. And then let's do... Ooh, that's a good draw. He's gonna kill my Luffy. That's fine. I think these three attackers just win the game. Uh, let's do seven. And if not, then I still have something like Nami to just win the game. Okay. Well, that doesn't even matter. Because you cannot get rid of this one. That was impressive. Wow. You can do some some nasty stuff with this deck. Very well. All right, and we're going to put into the test playing against Kiemo. They're going go to make it go first. So Frank is going to be really important in this matchup. And uh, Zoro is going to be important. So I'm going to keep this hand. Yeah, they're going to make us go first as we expected. End the turn. Uh, I think the big bodies are going to be huge in this matchup, so... Oh, don't attack with that, Momo. Because you're going to force me to play something into it. It's kind of annoying. And he got a... Draw Kosuki Momo. Oh, another one, okay. Well interesting spot i think i have to play the luffy with the nami yeah nami is gonna be a late game play i think i could play right now he plays the uh, he plays the uh, yamato attacks it for six i defend it i think that's fine and i can start getting some value from her from next turn onwards And then it forces him to play the Yamato. Oh, Okiku. Okiku is much better. Okay, okay. I'm done with this. Uh, 
want. Yes, I take. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, let's do math. Let's do math. Let's do math. Uh, if I play a, 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 a new soap, I get to top two. I play Nami. I don't get to do all of that. So I think it's better to just play the Frankie, have a big body on board. Next turn, he doesn't get to play the uh, the card, so I should be fine. So yeah, let's play the Frankie. Attack with her, use the action, get the Luffy, because he's the only target. And then attack with this one. We're to the races. And then next turn we can do Nami plus, I mean, Uso plus Nami or Zoro plus Nami, and that should be fine. And then the following turn after that, Luffy plus something else, and then we're trying to overwhelm him with cars on board. Um. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a 2k because he still has to get rid of her. And 5 energy. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here, but I'm gonna force him to use energy to get rid of her. And he's not gonna, yeah, not gonna let him. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll defend that one. What is he representing? A Pung Gibson? I mean, I'll get I'll get rid of two cards. This card is too important. Is he just gonna play another Kiku? It's probably what he's trying to do. Uh, oh, is he a killer? No, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Oh, maybe he has the two energy one that destroys something in Resmo. He was trying to bait me. Nope. Well, I will attack here, use the action, trying to get our Uso up here. So I can play him and on top. And then I can play Nami and I can keep up maybe Pong Pong Gibson. Uh yes, thank you. I'm gonna attack it. Oh wow. Okay, well. Uh how much energy is this? One, two, three on top two. One, two, three, four. And then attack for one then. Uh, or I can just do Nami attack for seven. Is that better? Or I can do Nami attack for five. One, two, three, four. Nami attack for five. And then I can use Pong Gibson and he doesn't get any value out of this. I, I like that. I like that. And then get a Frank, I think is the best car. Let him go. I'll use my Pong Gibson. Tap the Riso because he needs two cards to draw a car. And next turn I just kill both. And I should be fine. He only has two cards in hand. Even if he has the seven drop, the eight drop, I mean. I should be able to outvalue him. Oh no, he gets to restand it. So I still have to represent a lot of attackers. Uh, no blockers, but I will tap this one. And now he can only get rid of one. Unless he has a Drake, could be the best card in his hand. But now he doesn't get to play the, uh, the Odin if he had it. So I'm not sure my opponent is playing right or not. Two, yeah, I have two. I can, I can combo my hand every turn because I have these cards that just refill me every turn. Uh, so, attack here, use the action, get, ooh, onigiri. Yeah, I like that one. And this turn, I'm just going to keep a lot of counters up. Uh, I guess I'll keep another one. Yeah, another onigiri. Then, uh, actually, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, if he has Pong Gibson, he has Pong Gibson, that's fine. 
It's one less card that he that I have to worry about than the following turn. Oh, that sucks. Uh, do I have seven energy? Two? Oh, I do. Well, let's play that one then. Even if I lose some of my cards, no, no, no. We'll play next turn. We'll protect this this board. It's really good. And I want to play something with Luffy, really. Oh, what do you know? Well, the zoo on Giddy. Oh, I don't have anything to play for free, so just choose no targets. And then, ah, let's do the other Nagiri if he attacks. Yeah, I kind of combat everything. It's much harder to uh, out combo the, uh, keep this up, so I gotta use them right now. Ooh, that's lovely. All right, so let's attack here first. What? Why are you combo out on that one? <laughs> I can just do this. Get a chopper. And then play and uh, play. And just outpace his removal. And then he has to tap this or he dies next turn. I mean, he can get rid of both to be fair, but I'm going to be able to get rid of this. No, he cannot necessarily get rid of both. Okay, I'll take that one. What else do you have? You have to attack for seven minimum. No, for nine, nine minimum. And then you don't do any anything else with your energy. And I have good pressure into this one. Odin, okay, Odin is good. Odin is good, but I get to protect my Nami here. Oh, another Nami is what the doctor prescribed. Oh, nothing. Okay, well. Let's get a chopper. He doesn't have any counter power. Oh, he has Pong Gibson? Damn. Oh, Saki. In that case, let's do, let's do it again. Play the Nami. Get a soap, I guess. Uh, and he doesn't have any counter, so I know he's gonna take this one too. And yeah, he has three attacks, but that's not enough. I, I've been able to just keep playing cards every turn. Oh, okay, yeah, this deck is fire. I love this deck. I mean, I'm, I'm sure my opponent shouldn't have a combo out of that many attacks that, that I was doing. But I'm still was gonna be able to just pressure him a, a lot, so uh, yeah. I mean, you got that one. Although I cannot combo out of that one, but it's fine. No need to. I right, could just lose the Odin if I if if I wanted to, but I'm going for game next turn for sure. Okay, he's trying to get a blocker. And then, how much is he attacking for with this? Sure, you got rid of that one. Now I can defend my... I, I think just the Namis are my, my best win condition. I can just block and... And get this going. But he didn't have any counter power before, so now I still think he doesn't have any, so... Uh, this should be enough to win the game. But if anything, I'll just get some counters too, in the process. Just because I can. But he shouldn't be able to survive this. Ah, oh, we were at three life still. <laughs> what do you know? I love this deck. <laughs> All right. And for our final thoughts, uh, I, again, I have to test a little bit more the deck as to see what, where I can tune down. Maybe Don Flamingo is not the right blocker, unless it was, it was really good, because, I mean, you get to, to 
set up your draws you get to set up look for your namis see like if you if you can get a frankie like on curve like it's not it's not bad but maybe something like a killer would be better since you get to draw a cycle through your deck it's easier to uh to utilize so i'm not entirely sure what's the best car here but i mean flamingo has been amazing so i mean it's, and it's a blocker and it gives you defense and an attacker in in the top spot so it's been really good for that reason so i think he's correct but i there may be cards that you can trim down uh up down like there's something that you can trim on or or move up or there's something that i haven't played here yet uh so i want to keep uh, trying to explore this leader um but i really really recommend you trying it out and and, and telling me like if, if if you did like this list uh with that being said thank you all for watching have a good day